All right, guys, I'm going to give you a quick and dirty on Nightfall in Old Tucson. This place is amazing. If you're big into the scary and horror stuff like, uh, like I am, you're going to love this place, man. It's over 20 acres of pure terror. There are a bunch of mazes. There's a haunted house. There's a bunch of performances. And it's all kind of themed to tell a story about, old, you know, Jebediah bringing uh, the old uh, dead town folk back to life. Uh, I will show you here the map, and you're going to see all the stuff that's going on in this place, man. It's just amazing. First thing is, let me show you the check-in area. Okay, when you get to the front, if you're an RIP, which I strongly suggest you get the RIP, you get special parking, and you also have a special place inside with uh, some snacks and drinks where you can sit and take a break because you're going to do a ton of walking. You also get a really cool Nightfall uh, challenge coin and a shot glass. On the back side of the map, you're going to see the schedule here. There's a lot of things going on. You don't necessarily have to do them in order. And some of these things happen more than once. So I would suggest sitting down and planning out your attack so you don't miss anything. Because like I said, this is a story-based adventure. Resistance. I would pick a side, but lay low. You never know who you're talking to in there. Good luck. That's great advice you get right there at the beginning. That guy lets you know there's some stuff going on. You see here, this is your last chance to turn around because you are entering the zombie zone. This dude was hiding behind that sign and uh, did make me pee a little bit when he jumped out and yelled. There are all kinds of actors that intermingle with the crowd. Uh, they do a great job. A lot of old set stuff here. They actually use this for some movie filming as well, some old Western movies. So there's a lot of really cool old buildings here. As you see here, the taxidermist. But what really freaked me out was this girl when we walk in. Mom, please, will you help me? Please don't leave me here. You help me, please. I'm sorry. It's, it's such a good job we actually apologize. Come on, say hi. Wave your hands. These Thank are the gargoyles in the plaza area. Uh, what's hi, everybody. Where everything kicks off at You got that blue drink? What do you got there? Crowd busy. They're up there. Is that that blue drink? Is it like that I blue phone from Star Wars that's really disgusting? Yeah, but it gets it, but it gets it in. I was doing our walk to do. Hi, guy. At dusk, it really starts. They get the show rolling. This guy here is on trial. This Jebediah Hyde guy is trying to take over the town by uh, reanimating dead corpse. So that's what the, the main storyline is. There's, uh, in respect to... The shows, I didn't tape any of the shows. I'm not going to show this to you. You really, really should experience them yourself. Uh, they, all the actors did such a great job. All the shows really pushed forward the narrative of the whole, the whole evening. So if you're ever in old Tucson around Halloween time, man, uh, I suggest you guys go and check this place out. It is amazing. And uh, some of the things you're going to want to do is you want to get your ticket in advance because they do sell out. And if they sell out, you're done, man. You drove there for nothing. They do have a clear bag policy. Keep that in mind. A no costume policy, so don't wear your own costume where you're not getting in. No outside food and drink because they have a ton of food and drink inside. And they will have it through inclement weather. Uh, the, only, the only thing that really stops is probably going to be thunderstorms. So, well worth the price. If you go to Nightfall, uh, Old Tucson, I suggest getting the RIP so you can sit in the RIP area, uh, free drinks and snacks, and you get a place to sit down and rest. So, overall, I got to give this thing two thumbs up.